Morning, morning. Trevor Bernard here. Come once again to talk about some small ruminants business. One of the things I saw the other day, people were discussing and having a discussion of the difference between slotted floors and concrete or having them on the ground. Now, in my herd, I have both slotted floor, I have concrete, and I also have the dirt pen as we go along right here. Now, if you look at this ground, I have about 50, I think about 56 goats here on the ground. This pen was totally cleaned up this morning. It was sweeped up about seven o'clock this morning. This is probably about 11 o'clock now in the day. If you look on the ground and you see how much feces you see on the ground. One of the other thing is that in the feeders where the animals feed, this area is always wet because of the urine because they keep eating in these areas and when they're urine, the ground becomes very wet. And if you look around, you see how much feces are here everywhere you look. Also, I'm going to let you take a look at the concrete side of this pen. Really and truly, this concrete side of the pen is beneath the slotted floor. Now, if you look beneath, this slotted floor. If you look, you see the wetness on this ground and you see how much feces, how much manure is on the ground. This pen was cleaned this morning at about eight o'clock. Look on the amount of um, waste that is on this floor. If I had goats on this floor, if I had the number of goats that are above this floor, this is what you would see. You could never put, there are about, about 73 animals on the floor above. You could not put 73 animals on the ground right here and leave them for the day. They would be walking in their feces. There is so much feces there on the ground. Let's look, take a look on the top floor of the slotted floor. This slotted floor has not been cleaned for about a week now it has not been clean and if you look on the amount of goats we have about maybe 70 goats in the in the pen up here look on the high density of goat that you are able to feed on these slotted floors and look at the the, the floor over two weeks we have not cleaned this floor if you had the animals on concrete you could not have done this look at the hygiene situation look at the urine the urine goes there it falls under the pen look at the urine it is going straight under when you have a concrete floor that urine forms a big pile on the ground and the kids get wet the goats get wet everybody get wet and the concrete basically will remain wet and infestation you will have worming issues you will have, you know, parasites problems. You will have all different kind of diseases, transmission and so forth, just by not doing this. Concrete is not a good idea to rear animals. In the States, they do not have the same kind of parasites and worming issues in, in the cold weather. They use straws on the floor and they use concrete pen and they don't have the same kind of problems. But also, they have more vast amount of lands to operate in and vast amount of, you know, resources. We here in Jamaica, we have to build our facilities like this with slotted floors so that we can put more density of animals on the ground. Remember, we are thinking big. We want to expand big. And we want to use as little space as possible to have high production. And that is why slotted floors is the way to go. And I think slotted floor is probably going to be cheaper or about the same cost as casting a concrete floor and putting in a concrete thing. I don't want the farmers to go with this idea of going with concrete pen. Even to have high density of animals on a dirt pen is not a good idea. If you have five or ten animals on the dirt, that's probably okay. But when you're going to have, like in this case, 
50 or 60 or 80 animals in this small area that's not a good idea you're gonna have diseases and sicknesses and all kind of issues as you go along thank you so much for watching this so this is really a comparison of looking at slotted floors versus having a concrete pen or a dirt pen slotted floors is the way to go you should not even consider to spend money doing anything else and it is also best to have the feces drop on dirt do not concrete do not put concrete on the ground under your slotted floor because the dirt will naturally absorb the urine absorb some of the feces and you will have insects processing the feces under the pen with concrete floor the concrete absorbs the urine and absorbs the feces in the concrete and then the pen becomes very high with the urea smell it sometimes gets so high and that smell is so high that it actually burns your eyes you don't want to have concrete under the ground you need to have dirt and your slotted floor above the dirt um, very happy to brought this to you i just wanted everyone to see the difference and to understand the difference of slotted floors pens versus rearing on concrete or rearing on the dirt please do it this way slotted floor it is the way of the future in jamaica think big we want to grow strong together thanks for watching keep subscribing to my channel thank you